You know I'm washing my car by own hands, so if you're interested in, then keep watching. Patrick's Garage And here is in car interior, there is a lot of dust, a lot of dirt, especially on the carpet. Here is the rubber carpet, more practical. Always a lot of dirt under the pedals. Here is a passenger seat. It always should be absolutely clean. There, this is the badge of honor if you want. And you know, vacuum cleaner room, very useful in these deals. You know, dust hides uh, in the stitches. And here is, you see, stitch goes in opposite direction, not as, uh, as it was in 60s. Here is, you see, was holes from cigarettes. And you know, I'm repairing them. Here is, you see, holes. There was holes, but they hardly visible now. And as always dirty under the driver's seat, you know. And as I said before, and I want to repeat that rubber carpets will be more practical. And rubber carpet main thing not accumulates dust. As you know, in average uh, carpet, uh, fabric carpet, you can find a lot of dust. From this point, uh, mm, fabric uh, on the seats, probably more practical, but leather seats uh, will be better if we think about dust. And here is a cracks on rubber carpet, you know it was restored. And a lot of different kind of seats blowed to the engine compartment, so we can suck in them by vacuum cleaner. You know, a lot of dust goes from the road to the engine compartment, and this is first. And here is a dust from our feet. Yes, you can hit them one to another before we sit into the car. But now we just clean the floor with rug under the pedals. And as you notice, this is design from 240 series non-original rubber pads. Gas pedal original, of course, you see. And you know, this is design from 60s. Uh, in 70s, you know, different uh, design of gas pedal and you see here is a lot of dust accumulates under this pedal with this design this pedal you see this gas pedal attached uh, to the floor so a lot of dust can be under pedal but we can rid off of dust by vacuum cleaner and wet it raw all old rugs can be very useful when we cleaning our car inside. And you know, rockers very lot suffer from dust, from sand, from the road which goes inside. But door cylinder prevent penetration of sand inside into the car interior. So this is this is dirt only from our feet. And we can easily clean with wet rack all this dust from rubber carpets. And you understand that more difficulties uh, can be to clean textile carpets. You know, rubber carpets you see more better. And I even think to change textile carpets, you see a lot of dust on them from rare seats passengers you need to clean with a vacuum cleaner all this sand, all this dust and you know this uh, dust so dirty carpets this is accumulates inside so I think really will be better to put rubber carpets and this is dust from the road, from the street, can be very harmful. 
So probably yes, I will change this carpet for rubber carpet like for the front passengers. And you know this is a rare carpet from 240 series Volvo. You know I bought this carpet because it uh, looks uh, better than rubber carpets. But now I I see that this is not so practical as a rubber carpet more wise to use rubber carpets, I think. And you know, as I hate noise, and I hate dust. I don't know which chemicals they're using, and I don't want to pay on them, so I'm cleaning the car only with water. Yes, I'm using only water and vacuum cleaner. And yes, we should admit that a lot of part of dust we can find on the rear row of seats for, from the rear passengers, you see, all this dust. And I don't know why they put this retractor, so they always touch this retractor. And this retractor always dirty. You know, in the uh, 60s, uh, these uh, seat belts was without retractors. And so here is, uh, this is no room for retractors. They just uh, take their room, leg room. So here is not enough uh, leg room for retractors. And this legroom area not intended for these retractors. You know, in uh, later models 240 series, uh, they decided to put them inside the B pillar. But here in uh, 140 series, you know, originally since 60s there is was there is no these retractors they put them since 70s and this is was the second third so they stick and they always did him uh, remnants of dust you see dust from the dusty road you see a lot of dirt Air cleaner hosing, you know, this is uh, air filter, paper filters, available in, even today. So we can bolt them online. You know, these uh, hosings uh, in 60s was made out of steel, but later they decided to do them uh, from plastic with a replaceable paper element inside. And here is a regulator of cold and uh, hot air. It regulates. You know, cold air goes from the front and hot air goes from the exhaust manifold. Hot air directs from the exhaust pipe and this hot air goes through this regulator and cold air goes also through this regulator, the, this air mixed, and then goes to the air cleaner, to the carburetor, to the engine. Yes, you know, this plastic waste suffer from damages, but here, this is not so critical. Here is goes dirty air, but you know, in modern cars, on these ways, the same ways goes clean air. And if these ways damaged way from the uh, fresh air, which goes from the filter to the intake manifold, dirt can go through the damages to the intake manifold. And this is more reliable to put air filter near the carburetor more closer to the carburetor. So I think this was more wise. And it's more better than they do now. Filter goes to the box, then it goes to the intake system. There is the latest type of the radiator which was used in uh, 140 series. 
you know, in the next Volvo's Q40 series was absolutely different radiator and cooling system. In design was different. I don't know, probably you can use a radiator from Q40 series, but you don't have to. And you can clean the engine with the same rack if it have no oil seep. 